back. I'm not, I'm clearly not very good at consistently recording videos every week. Um, starting off, I was like, oh, this is going to be easy and I can just share with you everything I find. But I decided that I wanted to do my research first and that takes a lot of time sometimes and I'm stubborn because I want to find the answers, but a couple items I just couldn't find out who made them or it took too long to find out who made them. Um, some of today's haul is from Goodwill. Uh, one of the items is from the bins, which I have a haul video that I'll be recording and publishing soon, um, <clears throat> which is a lot of stuff. And then everything else is from a local thrift store. Okay. So to begin, um, I'm going to get one of the biggest items out of the way. Oh, but before I be begin, uh, the grand total I spent on everything for this haul was around $35. Um, I should definitely make way more than that on everything. Um, so that's, I got this, which is a really, I don't know why I got it. It's probably roughly, let's see. It's worth around $15. It's just a vintage cake tin made by DecoWare. Can you see that? There we go. DecoWare. There we go. And the lid just pops off. And I love those. I have one that I got from my grandma that I've never used because I'm not a baker or cooker or anything like that. So I just kind of have it in my china cupboard collecting dust, I guess. Um, and that has the lid and is in very good condition. It has scrapes, but the artwork is pretty good. So I'm hoping to get 15 for it. And since I'm holding a pen, you know that I have my notepad, which helps me keep track of, well, I'm using it to organize this video. So I have an order of how I'm going to discuss it, some information, because I won't remember everything I want to tell you. Um, and then once I'm done with that, then I'll carry that list over to, to my inventory sheets and my listing process. So I already have what I paid for it, when I bought it, um, when I listed all that stuff. So that'll make the listing process faster. Um, the next thing... I got from Goodwill. The first item, the cake pan, I think I said was the outlets. This is from Goodwill in awesome condition. And funny enough, I got another one <laughs> at a different Goodwill um, that I'll be sharing with you in three, five, ten haul videos from now. Like I said, I have a lot of stuff to share. Um, but that Ha is really cool and it's a Radio Shack 1990s phone. Um, they've been selling online for around um, $30 so I should be able to get that. It does need cleaned because clearly it's been used but that'll be a quick wipe down and it'll be good to go. Um, then so this I, I got at the Goodwill at Goodwill with the phone and I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. But because it was taped up, I didn't notice some damage, which bugs me, but happens periodically. It's a 1977 made in Japan by the Man Company. Um, it is a stacking ceramic bento box. And it stacks like that. That's the tag I have to take off of it. But this is what I missed. It's a chip in the finish. It doesn't affect the bento box at all. I mean, it still will hold your food just fine. Um, it has really nice little pattern on the side and it's kind of heavy. Um, but yeah, that was kind of one of those things where I, sh I peeled off the tape on one side so that I could check the lid for chips, but I didn't think to peel the other side and check that side for chips. And of course, the tape was concealing a chip. Um, it happens. Okay, sorry for the weird 
pause, which maybe you wouldn't have noticed if I didn't mention it, um, but in a couple of my last videos, when I was, and you can see it, when I was showing labels and stuff like that, it had the mirror reflection of the tag. And I was just making sure that that's not happening again. And it's not. So we are good to move on. Oh, um, I should be able to sell, even with the damage, the bento box for around $20. If it didn't have the damage, I could probably ask for 30 on up. Um, but since it's chipped, I'm not, I'm not going to ask for any more. And realistically, I'll put it on sale or accept the best offer. And then the next thing is for me, I'm not selling it. It is a little bonsai. It's not real. It's a cherry blossom bonsai. There you go. There's a close up of the. Now, I don't think they're actual gemstones. I'm pretty sure that these are plastic or, or glass. I um, mean, then they're, it's just made in Japan. But I like it for me. I'm not, I, I might put it in the bathroom because I don't have windows in there, but I want it to look a little less dingy. And that's a nice, bright, fun tree. Um, this one, if it had gemstones, real gemstones, not glass or plastic, they can sell for $100 starting off. Um, the prices range, the sold for prices range between 15 up to hundreds, depending upon the size, condition, and if they're made with actual precious stones. Um, since mine is not, similar ones that were like it sold between 15 to $30. Um, but I'm not sure I'll sell it. I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep it. Um, but that lets me know in the future if I decide, if I get bored in like a month, I'm like, you know what? Time to go. At least I have a starting point. Okay. And then, so I was doing research with this elephant and it is a white marble painted elephant. And at first while researching, I got stupid excited, like stupid excited. And it's heavy. You can see, unfortunately, he's chipped, but he's for me. Um, but anyway, so why did I get stupid excited? Because I thought it could be, and this is the beginning before I was researching in depth. I thought it could be a Macrana white marble painted by Pietra Dora Elephant. Now, the value, if it was that, would be, let's see, I wrote it down. My notes here get more muddled, hmm, marbled, get muddled, um, would be around $30 on up. Uh, mine is an in-between size. Why would I get stupid excited? Because the ones that are 10 inches sell for $300. But, and I'll put a picture of mine up here and a picture of an example of the Pietra Dura ones over here. And you'll see the difference. Um, the Pietra Dura painted ones are very high quality painting. The detail and the line work is great. And they use um, precious gems in the pigment and in the eyes and so forth and so on, not so forth and so on anyway, for the elephant. And that is what increases the value. And the um, Macrana white marble is a very specific uh, type of marble. But mine, as you can see, it doesn't have that detailing. It's, it's nice. I'm thinking it's probably an India, made in India um, replication type deal for a souvenir or whatever. Um, but normally the eyes would be, um, like lapis lazuli or jade or different, different pigments. I think I read that one had garnet, um, but they are, and they use like real gold and not just a blotchy painted on gold. With that, it was in a bag and at this thrift store, they have bags. They just hang bags of, of figurines like together and cups together. And it makes me nervous, but I also like the sound of the bags. 
Uh, but in with that elephant were two um, green marble calendar tiles. Um, unfortunately, there are supposed to be three and um, or four because this is just the day of the week, not the month. Um, and they go on a nice marble stand, uh, but I only have two, so I'll probably just donate them. If I had them as a set, um, they would sell for like 20 bucks roughly, uh, but these are maybe worth $5, maybe 16, but not really. Okay. And then I love this vase. It is just in, it's an amethyst black glass bud vase. And I don't know if you're, I don't think you'll be able to see it. Uh, but instead of trying to finagle, I'll just take, I'll take a picture of it held up to the light so that you can see the amethyst color and I'll insert it over here somewhere um, for you to look at. It was painted and made probably in the 70s and is worth around $15. I would love for it to be worth more, but no. It's not a really a highly sought after style. And um, I just noticed a chip in the glass. That sucks. Maybe let's get my face out of the way. Maybe, can you see it right there? Yeah, definitely didn't notice that. Well, so maybe it's worth six bucks <laughs> instead of 15. And then I got this, which I didn't think would make it home in one piece. And it's just a mid-century modern art pottery, studio pottery dish, probably around $15. If it was a big brand, it could be worth way more. Um, but it's nice. It's light. It's thin. I think it's unique. It's the colors are kind of ugly, but at the same point, earthy, and I I dig earthy tones. Let me try to move that out of the way. That I I think I said is worth around fifteen, so I'll probably post it on Etsy and eBay around that price. Okay, and so then there was a bag, another bag, of figurines, which I hate because. They clank around and people are rough and so they chip and crack and break. Um, but in this bag that were, are these, this couple of Japanese figurines made by a Nat Sup company, hand painted Japan. There you go. And they're small. And I'll, um, this, she's chipped on the back of her head. Some of the paint is paint's coming off. Um, but I'll ask like $12.95 for the set. That's usually around my price for a generic <laughs> figurines. Um, I say generic because they're not hugely known. Um, that specific company took me a while to even find other figurines with that sticker on them. So to me, it's kind of a, just a generic vintage made in Japan. In with this set was this plasticky figurine. I'm trying to get good light. There we go. There. And um, yeah, I'm probably just gonna donate her because she's not really worth anything. She's not worth much. And she's small. Give me a second, I'm gonna adjust the lighting. Let's see if this is better. I don't want to have to hold it off the screen and you can't see what's going on. Um, so yeah, that little angel isn't worth anything. And then I love the donkey carts, like the vintage planters and toothpick holders. And this was in with those figurines. It's also made in Japan. And it is a ladies ashtray and it's a toilet. In case you, I didn't know, I had to I had to look. I was like, "What are these for?" Well, it's for a wooden lid that would go on the ashtray, and I would have resold it if it weren't for this 
long crack that goes all the way down. So that makes it pretty much worthless. Um, without the crack in good condition, it would be like 16 bucks. And there are a bunch of them. So if you want an ass with a cart for your cigarette butts, you can find them online. Um, this, I have a weakness for art pottery, whether it's your kids art pottery or professionals or other studio art pottery. So I found this really nice, um, lace in like lace depressed grape art pottery wall pocket and it's signed. I can't really read it. Um, and unfortunately this thrift store writes everything and marker and before i was thinking about it i was just picking up cute things and i was like wait how do i get the marker out of the ceramic well i haven't been able to so i go over it with marker and then i try to clean it and wipe it and let it dry if i can um but yeah it's a cute little wall pocket you could use it for matches you could use it for a little plant arrangement whatever you want to use it for it's cute and i'm going to be asking around 17 for it um, I couldn't find the artist anywhere. Um, and so similar styles of wall pocket art pottery sell for around that. <sighs> okay. And then these were in a bag. And there are a set of six. I'm not going to look at them all. But six. Um, and they've got little, it's a pink inside um cherry blossom i believe and then here's the now i couldn't find or maybe it goes this way i couldn't find these online i kind of thought to myself and compared them to the types of bowls that you find at marshall's home goods stuff like that that are asian inspired or asian styled and i thought they were really cute for like miso soup or rice or ice cream um or berries anything and I actually have a set of six and so I'm going to be asking 25 for the whole set and there are no chips no cracks they're clean but it's one of those things where I spent an hour researching and I'm like you know what I can't keep spending this much time on everything um so I landed on 25 and then this you might have noticed my background's different which might not be anything new if you've seen my other videos where I couldn't set my mind on what my background wanted to be. But this is a Winnie the Pooh shower curtain. There you go. I'll get out of the way so you can see the whole thing. And then there's a little bit more. And this I also got at that same thrift store half off. And if it was new in the package, they sell for $32, which is crazy. I've never considered spending that much on a shower curtain, but I am frugal and thrifty and cheap. So <laughs> I don't really look at shower curtains that way. Um, so I'm going to ask 26. It's clean. There are no stains, no holes, no tears or rips. It's in like new condition just without the packaging. Um, so I'll be asking 26. All right, moving along. Then I have these to George uh, Briard little dishes. That's what the back looks like. And this one has a chip in the corner. Now these are a set, these are part of a pattern set called Forbidden Fruit. It has a big platter with a peaches, uh, pears, and strawberries maybe or apples i think it's apples um and they're white glass i wouldn't consider these milk glass um and as i was researching they weren't called milk glass i just liked the transferware detailing and i think it's really nice and these are gonna be crazy easy to ship which is nice um and so i'll be asking 15 for the set of them and then this is probably one of my favorite items. I like all of these items a lot, but this is one of my favorite 
It is a Beware of Dog coin bank with the chain and the other little dog. So I believe they would look up like that at each other. The chain, there's a metal thing here, so I guess you could hook it there or to the other dog. There's a hoop there um, and there's the hole, but there's no stopper. But neither of these little cute puppies are chipped. And that's amazing. Um, also online, all of the ones I found don't have the chain and don't have the second little dog. Um, I didn't know. I just assumed this is how it came. Um, it's adorable. It's so, 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 so cute. Um, and I want to keep it. But I'm not going to keep it unless it doesn't sell them well. I might. I might have to make space for it. Um, Similar ones have sold without the chain, without the other dog for around 10 to $12. I'm going to ask 19 um, because I have the chain. I have the second dog. Um, there aren't any chips or cracks or, or, oh, maybe. Okay. So this is an old chip, I think right here. Can you see it right there? looks like an old chip. Um, but you can't really tell. You have to look close. So I'm going to ask 19 starting off, and we'll see what happens. Um, there are a bunch online, but mine's com complete, quote-unquote complete, with the chain and dog. Okay, and then so I had so much wrapped in this box, and how all of it didn't get broken is beyond me. And I at this thrift store, you're not allowed to bag or wrap your own stuff, which makes me nervous because if you don't get a cashier who cares, then they're just throwing it in paper, even with the butt end of a mug hanging out and they don't, they don't care. And they just throw it in a box. This, this lady was actually pretty good about wrapping and gently placing things in this huge box for me to try to handle out to the car but we didn't leave unscathed. Um, I got home and noticed a chip and this super cool three-dimensional embossed Oda Jiri mug. Oh, is it upside down? There we go. Oda Jiri mug. Now, I don't sell chipped mugs or cracked mugs um, because I don't want someone to cut their tongue or lip on it. So that makes this mug worthless to me. Um, am I gonna keep it? Probably not. I, my intention was to sell it. So I will probably end up donating it um, to someone who doesn't mind. I could sand it down so that it's smooth, maybe I'll consider doing that if I want to take the time, but I'm so backlogged on other things I need to list and clean and research and record that I don't know how much I care. If it wasn't broken, broken, if it wasn't chipped, it would be around $12 to $14 for that mug. Okay, now these teacups, that or different patterns. I've been asking, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been asking everyone online, who makes them? Who makes them? Who makes them? Who makes them? I've spent days, like I said, too long. I've spent way too long on this and the next item trying to find who makes them. Let me find a good one. This is made by I Pin, and it's like a tri diamond logo or uh, marking. This one's peaches. This one is a pretty landscape. And they're very nice. They're porcelain. They do not have chips or cracks. This one's a painted flower. Oh, yeah. And then this one's fish. Chasing another fish. And they're beautiful, but I have no idea who makes them. They were in a bag 
another bag of bowls that are Taiwanese. So they might be made in Taiwan, they might be made in Japan, they might be made in China. I've searched high and low in my American and British Maker's Marks books, Chinese and Japanese websites, and I have not been able to identify the maker. If you know the maker, please let me know. Leave a comment, flag me down. If you see me out and about, just let me know. I'm going to list them not knowing for around $25. Um, that, oh no, yeah. Yeah, around $25. Um, I think they're worth that. I might do less, of course, if I find something similar online that sells for less, I will price it accordingly. Um, but I have a very nice set of four. They're the same company. They're in good condition. No chips, no cracks, no stains. So I think they're worth um, $25. I kind of wish I had the teapot that goes with it or sake bottle, but that's okay. And in with them were five of these beautiful, oh, there we go. I'm trying to show you all the sides. Beautiful porcelain rice bowls. I think you can see that. Um, a friend of mine in one of, oh no, son of a bleep. Damn it. Okay, so I have a set of four <laughs> rice bowls. This one, I don't know if you can see it, is chipped. So that goes to the reject pile with my lovely Pelican mug. But four is an even number. So now we have a set of four <laughs> rice porcelain rice bowls. Um, while I was looking these up, I learned that they are made in Taiwan. And it took me several days to finally realize that. I was convinced they were Japanese. And then I was convinced that they were Chinese. And they are neither. They are Taiwanese. Um, someone in one of the... Um, I think it might be the Crazy Lamp Lady. She's got an identification collection old things group. Um, and so I'm a part of it. And I ask a lot of questions about things. Um, and she might have been in that group or another trinket group that I belong to. Um, but she was great in helping me find out who the maker was, what they're valued. Um, so the website she found them on, I had to translate it using Google Translate, but it said it's Datong um, Kiln 0502 series. Um, and they retail for, I think, like five Taiwanese dollars. Um, and so I'm going to ask 25 um, for mine. I might actually ask 20 now since I have a broken one, um, but they aren't available in the United States that I'm aware of. I've searched eBay, WorthPoint, replacements, and Etsy, and I haven't been able to find them, um, but I have been looking for a while, so I could have overlooked it. But they are beautiful. And then, I don't know, if, if you follow me on Instagram or my Etsy shop or my eBay shop, then you know I have a set of new Snoopy Hallmark thank you cards. Well, I am going to add these note cards to that bundle, to that. I'm going to make it a bundle. And I think I'm asking maybe, I don't remember what I'm asking for the thank you cards, $12 maybe. So I'll just bundle it together and add an extra five to that amount for these cards. And it should be more enticing than just the thank you cards. Um, okay, so then I got another bag, and I think, yeah, this is my final, these are my final items. Um, it was a bag of random, like, uh, butter knife spreaders, and I saw a couple things in there, and I was like, oh, these are fancy. Um, so I f just finished a little bit ago sorting through them and looking them over, and I have three sets, well, three sort of sets. I have this set, if I can manage to not drop them, of Boston Warehouse Snowman Cheese, or, and they're just considered knife spreaders. Um, I would use them for cheese or butter. They're super cute. Um, 
I know I'm saving Christmas stuff for a thr thrift miss in July video, but I forgot. <laughs> and so these are in this video. Other ones who that are new in the package um, on eBay have sold for $10. So I'll just ask seven. Uh, they're in good condition. They're not chipped, broken, or stained or rusting. Um, they're stainless steel. So I will clean them up and list them for seven. They're also newer, so they'll be going on Etsy, not Etsy. They'll be going on eBay, not Etsy. And there's four. And then I got this pineapple mariposa. Yeah, mariposa 2012. If you can see it, I can't tell if you can see it. And it's a really thick pineapple aluminum knife spreader. The set goes for like 20 bucks if you have the full set. I'm just going to ask $7 for the one knife. Um, if these things don't end up selling, realistically, I'll donate them um, to U.S. vets. Um, and they'll be able to use them and put them to, to good use rather than wasting them. And then second to last. These are super heavy. But all of these things will be easy to ship. These are more Christmas, which I forgot. These are knife spreaders as well. And it's a set of three. Santa, candy cane, and Christmas tree. Stainless steel. This one still has the Made in China sticker. And it's supposed to have... The complete set has a nutcracker. Um, but I don't have that. I have these three. And so these three have been selling for around eight dollars online so i'll be asking the same they're in good condition they just need washed and um those are newer too so those will also be an ebay item and then the last two things i these are cute these are why i picked up that bag because i was like oh these look like something important and they are arthur court knife spreaders stainless steel cute little bunny rabbits super cute super, super cute um and so it's supposed to be a set of four i only have three a set of four sells for around 22 plus dollars um so i'll only be asking 15. and then last but not least and an arthur court cheese knife And um, these, the set is a cheese knife and then four other cheese knives. I only have this one, uh, so I'll only be asking eight for it. The complete set sells for around $29. Um, it'll also be on eBay. And yeah, I think according to my checklist, we have reached the end. And with any luck, my husband will be here soon with lunch. <laughs> so thank you for stopping by. If there's anything you're interested in buying, let me know and uh, I can get it listed faster or we can work something out, whatever. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Let me know. And um, yeah, I think that's everything. And thank you for checking out my thrifting finds. See you later. <laughs> Bye.